Good morning. In this session, I'm going to cover a topic binary tree. In this, I'm going to cover insertion, tree traversal and deletion of node from the binary tree. If you have any queries, you may send it to upikulkarni at yahoo.com. Alternatively, you may talk to me on phone 944-891-5301. Let's get into the some few fundamental aspects of binary tree. Binary tree is a finite set of elements that is either empty or is partitioned into three disjoint subsets. The first subset contains a single element called the root of the tree. The other two subsets are themselves binary trees called left and right subtree of the original tree. A left or right subtree can be empty. Each element of a binary tree is called a node of the tree. Look at the structure of the binary tree. This is called the root of the binary tree. This is the left subtree and this is the right subtree. Each tree can be visualized as again as described above. This is again a root. Okay, It has a left child. It is not there. It is called null here. And this is the right child. So it goes like this. Here is another okay, tree which is not okay, a binary tree. The reason okay, is quite visible from here. Please go through that one. Find out why this is not a binary tree. Here is a one reason for that. Here is another reason with which okay, you can very well understand that this is an invalid binary tree. Please refer the book and try to identify this. There are three operations that can be performed on a binary tree, inserting an element into binary tree, traversing a binary tree, deleting an element from the binary tree. Let's try to look into all these three aspects of binary tree from programming in C language perspective. Let's begin with the insertion into binary tree. There are three cases of insertion of an element into a binary tree. Okay, let's look into all these three cases. Case one, when root is null, that is binary tree is empty. Now let's assume that the input we have was 18 and we have to create the binary tree for this. Now initially the binary tree is empty, which we can visualize in these terms root pointing to the null. So what we have to do is create a node, create a node here, right? This can be seen here in terms of a okay, C programming language segment wherein you allocate the memory for a okay, struct tree, right? And let's call it as a temp. And in that temp, you store the element that is 18 here, right? Make the left child equal to null, right child equal to null. This is indicated here, left, left child, right child equal to null. Now, since this is the case one where a okay, root is null, what you are doing is if root equal to null, then root equal to temp. Right. So this temp, whatever that is there that you are renaming it by okay, root. So now the tree contains one element. Okay. And that is 18 with left child equal to null, right child equal to null and the root pointing to this one single node. So we have created the node. So let me summarize this. I have a struct, structure, struct tree. P is a pointer to that one. Then I create the node temp by locating the memory using malloc of C programming language. Store the element in that. Make the left child point to null. Write a okay, pointer of that particular node point to null. And now initially the root is equal to null. So what it do is okay, uh, root equal to temp, right? And return true value for programming okay the completeness of the programming in doll so now the tree with the single node that is available this is the case one i hope that you understood this now let's look into the case two sure now for this we assume that we have a tree okay here and we are going to insert an element left of this particular node here this so when the root is not null and the element is added to the left of the root node. Let's assume that the element is 12. 12 is less than 18. So what we do is 
when it is less than this particular k value we move to the left of this and create a node as we have seen before make its left child null right child equal to null and link the left of the root to this particular node temp this is what we do this is the case number two the case number three it is simple assume that we have a tree like this and we are adding a node to the right of the root here right if in fact right of any node right so when the root is not defined null and element is added to the right of a node let's assume that the number is 20 right so what we do is again we begin from the root the number to be added if it is greater than 18 then we move to the right of the 18 right and create a node here store the element 20 make its right okay pointer null left pointer null right pointer null and link right of this root to the node which we have created so the tree is available here this is the case three so by following this logic so we can build the binary tree now let's try to look into summarize the code okay that's okay we need to follow p is equal to root while p not equal to null right so what you are doing is okay this is the temporary arrangement r equal to p if p dot value equal to an element in that case right the element which you want to store in the binary tree is already exist if a p dot value right is less than element that is so assume that you have a node p here assume that the value you have is 18 and the element you want to insert say is say 20 now 20 that is a p dot value that is 18 is less than 20 so what you are doing you are adding this node to the right of this particular node so so p equal to p dot right right you are moving towards the right of the that particular node in a tree if not if not that means right see look into this if not in the sense here p dot value that is the element stored in the node equal to element it is a repetition if a p dot value is less than element then you have to move towards the right otherwise you have to move towards the left of that particular node okay this situation can be visualized like this so i have stored element 18 in a node say call it as a p here then say i want to store the element 5 so what you are doing is you have to move towards the left of this particular node p so in that case to move towards left this is there so moving towards right or moving towards left you are at the appropriate place where node is to be added now consider this particular tree only right now say i wanted to add an element 6 what is that i do 6 is less than 18 i move here right then 6 is greater than 5 okay i am here at this stage so i need to add this the element 6 to the right of this particular node 5 so if r dot value greater than element then r dot left equal to temp that means left side see in this case now consider the other situation i want to add the element 4 in that case okay i connect this new node containing 4 to the left of this the node containing 5 then otherwise i'll add the new node containing 6 to the right of this so it is a right of this temp right or it is a left of the r where this is r right so this is how we add elements to the binary tree so let's try to look into okay we'll try to summarize the creation of binary tree for this particular sequence so the element 12 we create a node like this and this is the root of this right the next element is 15 it is shown here with the red color right so 15 is greater than 12 15 is added to the right of this right of the root that is right of the node containing the value 12 14 is added 
to left of 15 here how we do is okay 14 is greater than 12 so we move towards right 14 is less than 15 so we move towards left and link this temp node to this one so the tree gets created so like this to if at all we proceed say the next node is 5 16 9 7 10 3 4 2 6 8 for every time what we do is we start from the root and keep on moving either towards left or right depending on the value if the value if the node to be added is less than 12 we move towards left if the node to be added is greater than this right we move towards right the same policy we use it at every node either we move towards left of that node or right of the node and we arrive at a proper place and then link the new node called temp either to the right of that node or left of that so thereby we create the entire tree hope you understood this let's try to look into the the code once again and uh, say it but before that okay let's try to record these numbers which we are going to add 12 15 14 uh, let me also record this let me record this say 12 15 14 5 uh, let me take the paper and uh, record it and according i'll create the node and show it first is 12 15 14 5 16 9 7 10 3 4 2 6 8 let me create this and i'll show to you right see and uh, here there are five options element to be inserted into tree in order traversal post order traversal pre order traversal quitting the program right so let me put this one right enter the element to be inserted that is 12 1 15 1 5 1 16 1 9 1 7 1 10 1 3 1 4 1 2 1 6 1 8 so we added okay all the elements now let's try to traverse in the uh, pre-order traversal 4 so I get okay 12 5 3 2 4 9 7 6 8 10 15 16 remember this we'll see it is a pre-order traversal post order traversal is 3 this is the order we will try to see this in order traversal that is 2 right we get this we'll try to see this one the different traverse and the law and we'll try to verify this later this is how the tree is created and the tree can be traversed in three different okay order one is in order pre-order and post order we'll try to see these things in immediately in the next session this is what is a program Now let's try to look into the uh, code of this and uh, see the concept of binary tree enumeration true or false this again enumeration you have nothing insert into binary tree etc for readable purpose I have uh, the tree structure here where I store value that is integer 
stuck to tree left okay it's a pointed to the left of the that particular node right of this one this is the structure and we create different variables here and we have a function prototype insert into tree right in order traversal pre-order traversal post-order traversal we'll try to say it root equal to null initially then here is a menu right continuously you keep on displaying this reading the option from the user until user presses for you that is to quit the program now case insert into tree here enter the element to be inserted then you read this then you call a routine insert into tree with the that item whatever that you are read right if that function returns true then you display that one the insert operation is successful otherwise say that the entered element already exists in the tree the insertion operation failed okay whatever that is there this is what you are showing it now let's try to look into the routine insert into binary tree yeah this is the one which we are interested now insert into okay binary tree we have a structure tree that is a p is a pointer to such this structure temp is a pointer to such structure r is pointer to such structure we create a one node temp by using the c syntax malloc size of allocation that are, whatever that is there is struct tree right then if a temp equal to null right memory allocation failed we are unable to allocate the memory from the system and we terminate this particular insertion otherwise what we do is the we store the value part of we store the element in the value part of the structure make its left pointer to null right pointer to null and if a root equal to null that means the case 2 where element is to be added to the empty tree then what we do is simply make the root to point to temp and return that if the binary tree is empty otherwise what we do is okay we use one temporary okay variable p which will point to the root then try to find out the proper location for insertion while p not equal to null right what we do is so let's use one temporary thing r equal to p whatever it is right we'll see that when why it's being used if p okay the value pointed by the pointer p equal to element in that case the the element is already exist if p dot value less than element then what we are doing is p equal to okay it will point to the right pointer it move towards right of that particular node otherwise it will move to the okay left of that particular tree this continues until until okay okay uh, what i can say p equal to not equal to null okay it continues it keeps on repeating this the moment p is equal to null then what we are doing is we come out of this particular loop then here you try to look into that so every time we are positioning r equal to p in the loop which is just before the p the p is equal to null means r is just pointing before that one right beginning of that particular node it is something equivalent to like this so consider that the last node okay where p is pointing it is equal to null if this is a p when this traversal reaches the end of that particular tree then the r will be just at the beginning of that particular node so that r dot left r dot right this is what we use to insert this temp node right either at the right side of this node r or towards left side of the node r for that reason we use the another temporary variable r which just points at the beginning of the node now 
the temp node is to be inserted here either at the left side of the node pointed by R or towards the right side of the node pointed by R. So this is what is being done. If R dot value greater than the element then temp will be linked to the left of that node pointed by R or it is right of that particular thing. Okay, let me explain at this stage. Now consider that I have a node here with okay, 12. The other one is say 5. See, another one I'll take it here. 3. Right. Now consider here it is okay, 15. The node to be inserted is say consider the one temporary node call it as a temp this is to be inserted this is temp so it contains say the element 4 so what we do is we start from the root right here right so let this be p right now if the p dot value or the the element whatever that we wanted to insert if it is less than that we keep moving here this becomes a p now again we move towards this one right p right element to be inserted is greater than the p dot value so we move towards right here and this becomes null so in the program at this point this is r right so now what we do is the since the element to be added is greater than the r dot value so r dot right okay is linked with this right so this is what the code that you find if r dot now see here if r dot value that is a 3 greater than 4 no we come here right here in that case r dot right equal to temp here we try to link this one this is how this particular code works and if it is successful return true to the calling program So this is about the insertion. Hope you understood at this stage. Now let's try to look at the traversal of a binary tree. There are three types of traversal of binary tree. One is in order traversal. Other one is a pre order traversal. Third one is a post order traversal. Let's get into one in detail. Now consider that we have a tree which looks like this. The in order traversal, the order in which okay, we traverse is visit left of the node, then print the node n, then visit the right of the node. The pattern of traversal is L and R. So we'll try to see this one. Here we use an arrow mark to show the traversal path. We begin with the root here, right? Now we have to visit the left of the traversal. Uh, pattern of traverse is L and R. So we have to go to the left of this, left of this, left of this, right? Now if you go to the left of that, it's a null. So we come back, right? Then the next sequence is, okay, N that indicates that print that particular node. So on the screen, you get number two here. Then go to the right of this particular node. Right of this is empty so left is over printing node is over right is over so this entire node is processed so that you get this output on the screen now after lnr is over for this node right we move back for this left is over now we have to process the node so 3 is printed now we have to visit right side next so we go to the right. For this again, LNR pattern, L left null, so done. Print 4, that is 4 here, then right is null, right? So LNR is over for this. So we go back. For this, LNR is over. Again, we go back. For this, left is over. Node N, that we need to print. So we have printed 5. Then we'll visit right side. LNR, move to the left of this, left of this, 
left of this null print node n that is 6 then visit right that is also empty so lnr is over for this particular node so go back for left is for this node left is over print node n right now visit r for this left is empty visit node so print 8 visit right node that is empty so go back for this lnr is over go back for this l is over now print the node value that is 9 9 is printed here then go to right of this for this left is empty print the node that is 10 then go to right that is empty so lnr is over for this lnr is over for this lnr traversal is over for this for this l is over now print node 12 that is n that is 12 is printed then r visit this move to the left of this for this l and r over so 14 is printed go back now 15 is printed now it's the right node we have to visit so for this left is null printing node is 16 done right is null so lnr is over for this move back this lnr is over for this move back to the root node right the it's the end of the traversal right lnr is over so for this to understand that we need to understand the recursion thoroughly and then look into the code the code for this in order traversal it looks like this you pass the root reference of the root as a parameter so that is being referred as p if that is equal to null you are returning it otherwise visit left of that tree print the value visit right of the tree so here okay it is recursively is being called right so understanding recursion is very much necessary to understand the tree traversal which is written using recursion hope you understood this similarly we can have uh, the pre-order traversal and post-order traversal in pre-order traversal the pattern of traversal is nlr n stands for print the node value of that particular node then go to the left of that particular node then go to the right of that particular node so by following this pattern of traversal we'll get an output like this c root so nlr print that particular node 12 then visit left print that node 5 visit left print that node then visit left print this node then visit left empty then visit right that is also empty so we go back for this printing node is over going to left is over so go to the right for this nlr again print that node 4 is printed left is empty right is empty nlr is over for this node go back for this nlr is over go back for this n l is over so now r is left so move to the right n is over move to the left n is over move to the left n is over for this node right l is also over because it is empty r is also over it is empty so move back for this n and l is over move to the right n l r node 8 is printed so go back for this node 7 n l r is over so go back for this n and l is over go to the right now print n go to l empty go to right it is empty so nlr is over for the node containing 10 so move back the node number 9 nlr is over node number 5 node n uh, traversal pattern nlr is over node number 12 n is over l is over so move to the right side now n 15 is printed move to the left of this n value 14 is printed on the screen L is empty, R is empty, so NLR pattern is over for 14. Move back, N is over, L is over for the node containing 15. So go to right, N print 16, L empty, right side that is empty, so NLR is over for this. Move back, NLR is over for the node containing 15. So move back, so NLR is over for the node containing 12, that is a root node. So here, the traversal pattern is here again root is passed as a parameter if p equal to null return otherwise print the value of that node first then pre-order traversal of the same thing with the left node as a parameter then write recursive call 
just make a comparison of this pre-order traversal sequence with the in order which we saw just now. Similarly, we can go to the post order traversal. The traversal pattern is visit left of the node, right of the node and then finally print N. So by following this traversal pattern, that is the post order traversal L R N. So we get like this L, move to left, move to left, left is empty, right is empty, then print N. That means you again go here left, that is empty, nothing, don't do. Here it is empty, nothing you do, right? Then print the node 2. So node 2, I mean value 2 is printed on the screen. That's what is being referred L, R and N. Now, L, R, N for the node 2 is over. So go back. Here, L is over. Right, now we have to move to R of this node. For this, L is empty, R is empty. Print the node 4 is printed on screen. So L R N is over for this. So go back. Now print 3. That is L of this we have already done. Right. This part we have done. Right. We have already done. Now it is N. That is printing the value of that particular node. We print it. So like this. We move here. L is over for the node 5. So we move to R. L. L. L R N. So 6 is printed. Go back. L is over for the node 7, R now, go to right, L, R, N, L is empty, R is empty, N, 8, go back, L we have done, R we have done, so the node value 7 is printed, go back, L is over, R we move, L, R, N, L is empty, R is empty, node value 10 is printed, so now L done, R done, so 9 value is printed, that is N, L is done, R is done, so now node, f okay, value 5 is printed. L for the root node 12 is done, so we go to R, right side. L, L, R, N is over, print the value 14. L is over for the node 15, now go to right. L, R, N for this is over because it is empty, print 16. Go back, print 15, go back, print 12. This is the end of the traversal. Please understand, okay, here, Traverse to the left of the tree, traverse to the right of the tree and then print the value of that particular node, a recursive call. So please compare this with pre-order and in-order which we have gone through now. Now we will get into the last part of the binary tree that is the deletion of node in the binary tree. This is a very important thing. Compared to traversal and insertion of the node in the binary tree, this is little tricky. So you need to understand it carefully. Now consider there again a different situation. So consider that we are the case number one is root is to be deleted. Now consider that enter the element to be deleted. This is what the message appear on the screen and you type 12 and that the 12 is there in the root node. So we wanted to delete this particular node. Now what we do is we make L to point to the left of that node which we want to delete which is being referred by P. P refers to the node which we want to delete and L will point to the left of that node. R will point to the right of the node. This is what okay that we do okay by doing this. L equal to P dot left. R equal to P dot right. Then what we do is we make yes to okay refer where R is pointing. Then we make the yes to point to the last node, leftmost last node of this particular subtree, right? So with this, right? This is what the pattern that we get. Yes will point to the leftmost node of the this tree. R points here which is immediate right of the node which we want to delete and L points to the immediate left node of the node P which we want to delete. This is what okay, we get it. Now what is that we are doing? Right? The next course of action is shown here. Let's see that what we do diagrammatically. We make we make yes to 
point to L in this case and we make a root to point to R and delete this entire part. So my root starts from here. Left subtree it goes like this and right subtree will be like this. And this is what the code that we can see. If, see look at that. Here, if R not equal to null, this is the case. Now R, which is immediately right of the node which we want to point, is not null. That means the subtree exists. Subtree for the node which we want to delete exists. In that case, what we do is, we make root equal to R. Root equal to R, we did it. And S dot left equal to L. S points to the leftmost node of this particular subtree referred by R. So it's left, we make it to point to L. Then what we do is, we free P. That means this particular thing we delete from the memory. That's what is required. But there is another case which I'd like to highlight here. Assume that there is no okay, right subtree for the node P which we want to delete. Assume that. For the time being, assume that this part is not there at all. In that case, it's very simple. Simply make this as a root. This as a root. How do we do? Right? So that checking is done by, say, if R is null, that means if R not equal to null, this routine we execute. Now the case is R equal to null. In that case, what we do is simply make root equal to L. So when root equal to L, you do it and then free this one. So this part goes. Right? In this case, this is the case where this particular portion is not available in binary tree. I hope that you understood when this particular code is used and when this particular code is used. This code is used when the subtree for the node which you want to delete exists and this particular node, this particular code is used when the subtree not exist subtree for the node which you want to delete not exist. That means this particular portion not exist. Hope you understood this particular code. This is case one. Now let's look into the different cases. This is how we do and the, the tree looks like this. Now look at the case two where the node to be deleted is left of its parent, right? Left of its parent. This is a situation. That means the node I want to delete this and it is a left of this. There may be a situation where I want to delete the node which is right of its parent. These are different situations. You need to understand this. So now look into this. How do we do? We make P to point to the, that particular node which we want to delete and Q it refers to the its parent. L refers to the left of the node which we want to delete. Here it is assumed that null. R refers to the node which is right of this node which we want to delete. It may be null, may not be null. Here also this part, this particular part may be null, may not be null. This part may be null, may not be null. Right? But this is the L, we position, R we position here and S is here in this case now, it is because of this, L equal to P of left, R equal to P of right, S equal to R, S equal to R, initially S point this one, see that U traverse left of this tree, leftmost node of the tree and let S point to that like the case which we have considered before. In this case, there is no tree exists here. So S is also pointing to the place where R is pointing. Now what we do is simply make Q dot left equal to L. This is quite visible true from the diagram which you saw. 
right then delete this particular thing this deletion you do provided provided the right side is empty if right side is not empty something different you have to do it so let's try to see that one what is the code okay that's we are using this l equal to p dot left it is to position l here r equal to p dot right it is the position r here s equal this particular loop okay like what we did before it is just to position the s to that node leftmost node of this particular subtree in this case it is null here now if q left equal to p it is the left part if at all you are doing yes this is true in this case this particular part else part we will see it later in that case q left the left side link should be made to point to l this may further contain some node subtree may exist or may not exist if it exists it point to that if it doesn't exist it point to null as in this case l points to null so q dot left equal to null this is what we did right this is what okay you see that is done using green color then if l not equal to null or and l right not equal to null what we do is l equal to l dot right that means l we keep on position towards the rightmost node of node of this subtree unfortunately it is not there here so if it then now look at that the rightmost node whatever that is pointing right if it is not equal to null then l dot right equal to r so we make this to point to r here that means this entire subtree will become the left rightmost subtree of this particular node this case is not here so we'll try to see it later hope you understood this so after doing all these things this this node gets deleted free right and things exist so whatever the subtree that you have that continues to exist that means here this subtree whatever that is continue to exist whatever this okay right subtree was there not for the node which you have deleted that becomes a right subtree of this particular thing and this is linked to this right linking the right subtree of the node which is deleted to this one is being taken care okay by this particular segment you can try this by writing different diagrams and all and check the code is working fine or not hope you understood the case number two right now let's look into the case number case two it ends like this let's look into the case number three now here you will understand remaining part of this the node to be deleted is a right of its parent just now we saw the node to be deleted is a left of its parent now the node p to be deleted is a right of its parent so what we are going to do here again as usual let's see diagrammatically before that how it works we want to do like this that means connect this one to this node and its leftmost again okay, node whatever that is there you try to link with this and delete this one this is how the logic is created so let's try to see how it is being done here so as usual L equal to P left L is a referring to the left node of the P that is P is the one which we want to delete R is referring to the right of that then S equal to R you point yes and make through this code make S to point to the leftmost node of this subtree since there is only one node there is no this is the node containing the Label 10 is leftmost, so S remains at the position where R is pointing. You can see the diagram. Now what you are doing is Q dot right, 
that means q dot right you are making it to point two point two p see here if q dot right here q dot right equal to p that means if it is the right side then what you do is here r if r not equal to null if r not equal to null that means there is some subtree for the node p which you are deleting then q dot right equal to r q dot right equal to r that means what you are doing here is if there is a subtree for the node which you are deleting then simply make q dot right equal to r that's all else if if there is no subtree here that means if there is no subtree for the node which you are deleting then q dot left q dot sorry q dot right you are making it to l in that case right so these are the two different situation that you need to understand so please try to understand where q dot right equal to r is being used where q dot right equal to l is being used i'll repeat this we are using q dot right equal to r provided okay r exist if this doesn't exist then what we do is simply use this q dot right equal to l q dot right we make it to point to l because there is nothing exist here and anyhow we are deleting this hope you understood this right now you are linked this in this case you are link this one here now the leftmost node of this subtree that is 10 itself so it's that is being referred by s s dot left equal to l you have to do it so that this entire subtree becomes left of node number 10 right that is taken care here So after deleting node number 9, right, the node subtree 7, 6, 8 becomes the left of node number 10 and 10 becomes the right of node number 5. That's what okay, you see here. Right? The node number 10 becomes right of the node number 5, and this is all left of this. So this is the the deletion of the tree from binary tree with this we come to the end of this but before that let's try to look into the the code of deletion put together in totality so in order pre-order post order it's all right right now let's try to look into uh, I think I will show it that again in the next code. Um, uh, here, C code, you can see it here again. Okay, this, uh, ah, here it is a deleting the code is written. Mm. See so, yeah, here, uh, enter the element to be deleted. Read that one. And uh, you call the routine. If it ends true, then delete operation is successful otherwise delete operation is failed now let's look into the delete operation function that is written um, um, in order pre-order post order traversal okay delete here so uh, we pass the root of the node root of the tree and the value to be deleted then here is a code which you can go through okay which we have explained that part by part right which will delete the node from the tree so the entire code 
I would like to show to you. Just go through this one and if you want the source code you can talk to me that I'll make it available to you. You can type this and run the program and try to understand the logic. <coughs> so this is the menu. Um, it is an insertion of node into the tree calling the routine. In order traversal call, post order traversal call, pre order traversal call and uh, deleting an element right then we have uh, insertion of node into the tree this already we have seen right uh, then then in order traversal recursion understanding of the recursion is very much necessary pre order traversal post order traversal deletion of node from the tree go through the detailed discussion that we have done on different cases of deletion and this is the program that how do how a logic has been created with this we come to the end of this particular session where you understood how to insert node in the binary tree how to traverse the binary tree there are three different ways of traversing in order pre order and post order and last one is deletion for all these things you need to work on the paper create a logic and then write the program on your own rather than simply taking the program understanding it running the program and uh, submitting for any details you may contact me at upkulkarniadao.com or at mobile number 9448915301 thank you